Hi and welcome to Starfies. My name's Ollie and I'm talking to you today about the, the history or the evolution of the Negroni, starting a little bit earlier than it and ending a little bit later than it. It's a really interesting story and quite a journey and it all of course starts in uh, just after 1860 in the house of Campari when Gaspar Campari first started making the Milano Torino. I'm going to make these drinks as I go. For the Milano Torino we start off with the base of all of this family with equal parts of Campari and Cinzana Rossa. Those two are stirred together and this is where it all starts. And with a nice full glass of ice, the drink is topped off with soda water. So that's our Milano Torino. We then move on to 1919. Uh, a count walked in one day and he talked to the bartender and wanted an Americano with a bit more kick. So the bartender very, very cleverly left the soda water right out of that drink, but what he did was add gin. So the Negroni becomes equal parts of gin with Campari and Cinzano Rosso. So make sure you get those oils right over the top of the drink. Okay, so if I can fast forward to 1922, and we've crossed over to Paris now, and there's so many Americans drinking in Paris. And in uh, Harry's New York bar, one of the first cocktail bars, proper cocktail bars in Europe, Harry, Harry Macalone lists a drink called an old pal, based on Campari, but this time we bring some bourbon into the equation and we make the drink with dry vermouth. We put equal parts of Campari with wild turkey bourbon and dry vermouth. So this is our old pal. So this is an old pal made by a Scottish bartender in Paris based on what the Americans were drinking in Italy. It's really interesting to see how quickly this drink evolved to what it is. The next drink is from the same bar and it's called a Boulevardier. Also a uh, Harry's New York bar in Paris. It's like an old pal but it goes back to using the sweet vermouth. So we can just go for equal parts. of those three, wild turkey, campari, and cinzano rosso. Now we're going to fast forward a few years, we're going to get to contemporary cocktail bars. The evolution of that turns to an Australian bartender based in New York. In 2010 his name's Sam Ross and he won a competition of best bartender in the world. One of the drinks he put on the list at Milk and Honey in New York is a cocktail called a left hand. The left hand is uh, named after Lefty, that you might remember for as, the, as the character from Donnie Brasco. Now we're going to see the, the introduction of bitters to the drink. So Sam Ross's cocktail is heavy on the bourbon. And a, just a fraction lighter on the Campari and the sweet vermouth. But it adds to it a dash of chocolate bitters or mole bitters. There's a lot of mole bitters. Just two dashes, very small dashes, but it's very strong. So while I'm stirring that, we can just have a, a think about the Milano Torino turning into the Americano and, and then the Negroni, which all happens by 1919. We then move over to Paris in 1922 with the old pal. Then 1927, we have the Boulevardier. Fast forward to contemporary cocktail bartending, 21st century bartending, we've got the right hand developed by, uh, by Michael over at Milk and Honey in New York. And then of course Sam Ross, his colleague, has come and made a left hand with, um, with these three spirits, which is just wonderful to see. So there we have the left hand, which is the most recent incarnation of our family of, of, uh, of cocktails all related to the Negroni. I've been Ollie, it's been a real pleasure to have you for Friday Starfies and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much.